I see. I see him. My heart is pounding so hard. No limits to what parents will do for their children. My name is Kathy Chandler, and my husband is Sergeant First Class Daryl Chandler. When war has split the family. My husband's been gone for nine months. Today he's coming home from Afghanistan. When children are fighting their own war of loneliness back home. The boys have been taking this pretty hard. Their boys, ages seven and three. The boys are not here at the airport with their mom and friends for their father's arrival. He's coming. Kathy and Daryl Chandler know that as much as they've missed each other, their boys have missed him with the fathomless depth of the child's heart. So Kathy and Daryl did this for their boys. Kathy told seven-year-old Cole and three-year-old Aiden that they could enter a contest and the winner would get a visit from a Power Ranger. And this is the entry Cole wrote. He said, I should have a superhero come to my class because I've been stressed out lately and my dad is at war in Afghanistan. If the Red Ranger came to my class, that would make my day. And he won. <laughs> of course, there was only one entry in the contest and Kathy was the judge. He knows where his stress is coming from. He knows that what he's doing as a military kid is a hard job. And the fact that he touches that, um, 
makes me as a mom just so much more compassionate for him and all the struggles that he's going through. And of course, Cole was surprised and excited when he found out that he won and the Power Rangers showed up. And of course, he would soon find out who the superhero was underneath the Power Rangers mask. <laughs> it's, it's been hard. It's been hard on, on especially the older one. Army Sergeant First Class Daryl Chandler and Kathy Chandler know that someday the boys will understand that what their parents hope they are giving them is bigger than a surprise homecoming, that their sacrifice and service is giving them their future. You for your country, knowing that hopefully that what I'm doing today, it's something they won't have to go through and to give them a better life for it, that's what I do it for. There are no limits to what parents will do for their children. In Stockbridge, John Shearick, 11 Alive News. D, go, go, you go get her yourself. Go in there and get her yourself. Go get her, D. Deanna, go get her. Go get her. Go. I don't want her to. Go. Go. Go get her. Can I see it? No. I want you guys to be surprised at the same time. Yeah. Go. I'll bring it. I'm not going to tell you. If I have to tell you one more time, I'm leaving. I will leave. Go. Her. 
She's just filled out. Cinder, show Daddy the hole that you dug. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't do that. <laughs> Such a good girl. <laughs> Cinder. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh. Dad. oh my god! <laughs> oh. I'll get you later. You're all wet. You gotta get me now because I'm feeling. <laughs> 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 oh, I'm sorry, mommy. You're good. All right, there we go. It's happy reunion. Aww. Little man. Yeah, puppy, watch out. He's good. Put it on, Titi. Hold on. Take your bend down. You put it. <laughs> got you, bro. I got it. I put it on the back. No, you put it on the back. Well, I did bring you a present. Come on. Your monster high purse. Maybe you should show her your room name. Come here. Wait, I got one more surprise for you before you show me your room. Oh, wait, are you happy? Yes. How happy? Really happy. These are tears of joy. <laughs> <laughs> Mine are too. One more present for you, Bookie. Ready? I licked it myself. <laughs> What does it say? It says, thank you, think, thinking of you, mm -hmm. believe you, believing in you. Dear Susie, I know so banana. banana. <laughs> <laughs> I cool. couldn't, I couldn't wait to see you today. I hope you love your birthday present. You were the first person on my mind when I saw it. Three. It's too and late. You can't have me one. And I have I one other want. present I for you. I get away. I can't go. I'm moving, I'm moving back to. Zelda. You are? Signs <laughs> were. Look at this. Oh my God! <laughs> Surprise! Hey. 
I can deal with that. Manny. Manny, get out of the ring. Your mama gonna get you. She's gonna get in the ring. Got a bath already. What do you think? 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 What are you? Six years? I'm already stationed there. Really? Yeah. Every weekend. Every day if we wanted to. Every single day. So every weekend I'm going to see you? I hope so. I hope so. Wait! Oh. Coming out. You're going to get better by Mr. Now that you know the surprise, I can tell everybody. Because I have been holding that in for months. Months. Now, yeah. show me your room. Surprise! Here's another show us around. So we're gonna pause the video and we're gonna come back with more. Mwah. Say love you. Love you. Manny's all wet. <laughs> I'm Navy Lieutenant Heather Goitley. I just returned from Kandahar, Afghanistan, and I'm here to surprise my sister at her college graduation. I would like to introduce Elizabeth Golightly. Elizabeth is graduating with a Bachelor of Science degree in Social Science, and she will be leading our Pledge of Allegiance this evening. Before she begins, I would like to share a message which I received last week from her sister, an FSU alumna, Navy Lieutenant Heather Golightly, who is currently stationed in Afghanistan. I quote from her letter, Dear Elizabeth, first and foremost, I want to thank you for your constant love and support from the day I earned my commission five years ago until now as I serve in Afghanistan in support of Operation Enduring Freedom. Although I missed your high school graduation because I was deployed in the Pacific, there hasn't been a day when I was out to sea or even now in the desert that I haven't thought about you. You followed in my footsteps attending one of the most prestigious universities in the country. Be proud to be a Seminole. I know that I am. Go Knowles. Today marks the beginning of the rest of your life, and I'm absolutely thrilled to have the, priv have the privilege to be here to see it. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand and join me. Please stand and join me in proudly welcoming home one of our own Navy Lieutenant Heather Go Lightly. I thought she was still in the desert. <laughs> Because I, I talked to her yesterday and she was telling me how much she was upset that she couldn't be here. So I am so glad that she is here. <laughs> I'm so glad I could be here. I don't want to say too much. I'll start bawling, but I've been planning this for months. I completed my mission two months early so I could be here to be at your college graduation since I missed your high school. I'm so glad to get so Wait to the camera. Wait to the camera. You suck ass. <laughs> That's why you took me over there. Hey, your flight's still messed up, though, for real. You can't leave. Mess up with me, so. Hey, come with me. And, like, I walk all the way down there. 